This is part three in a five part series on the space alien anatomy. The biological technology of an alien's eyes. You might think that it's not possible to study alien anatomy without having an alien body, but that'd be wrong. You can get clues from trivial bits of information. Just like a CSI team does. By putting together those clues, a pattern emerges. That pattern tells us about the alien's behavior, and therefore about its anatomy. By studying its anatomy, you understand how it acts and how it thinks. Those sound like circular statements, but they're not. This is a basic gray space alien. There are quite a few other species out there, and this one is only meant to represent the majority. Part 1 was about the skull and the face. Part 2 was about how an alien uses an insect's biological technology for its skeleton and its skin. Here's a close-up image of a fly. I'm a bit struck by its eyes and how big they are compared to everything else. Here's a very close-up image of a compound eye. There are hundreds of skull facets in this eye. Saturday morning cartoonist tells us that when a fly looks at something, say the slit bug, it sees it like this. No, that's funny, but that's not true. It sees the world more like this. A very highly pixelated view of the world. But this isn't quite right either. Animals with compact eyes see colors that we can't even fathom. We see three colors. Blue green, and red. We tend to think that everything sees the world like we do. It's not quite true. There are a lot more colors out there. This chart illustrates a few of them. This is a spectral range of human vision. There's an all fly at one end and a moth at the other end. An all fly is the European cousin of the North American antlion. It sees exclusively in the ultraviolet spectrum. On the other end of this chart is the moth. It sees some of the ultraviolet, but it can also see purple, blue, and green. Just a little note, the yellowish bug lights aren't bad. To a moth, they look like a very dim light. Red light would be better. A superstar of vision is the mantis shrimp. They're about a foot long, found all over the world. Brings quite a bit in their own body colors, but that doesn't matter. They have 16 photoreceptors, 12 of which are for seen color. They can see in the extreme ultraviolet part of the spectrum near ultraviolet, the visible, and even the infrared. This is an extreme example, but it shows you what their types of eyes can do, as well as their limitations. Every creature in the entire Earth upon phylum have compound eyes. Anyway, here's a bee's brain. There are lots of different lobes, each one dedicated to one thing or another. A human's brain only seems to have five lobes. But that's not completely correct. Those lobes were just deemed for the bones directly above them. In 1909, Dr. Corbidian Broman identified 52 areas in the brain. Since then, a handful of those areas 
have been subdivided. Humans have about 56 lobes of the brain. The bee has good vision for an insect. Its optical lobe takes up about one third of its brain. The inside that come by the eye look like this. They're stacked like a whole bunch of glass tube like things. Madame said that they look like a tightly packed piece of fiber wire. The light is translated into electrical impulses and travels down a bundled nerve. It's processed on the optical lobe, which is near the eyes, in the front of the head. Look familiar. Humans eyes work completely differently. Light and distorted people. It's focused by the lens. It's the retina, mostly in the fovea. It's through ganglions, acrine cells, bipolar nerve cells, horizontal cells, and finally it's the rods and cones. Humans have four photoreceptors, through which of a color. And the signal will travel down the optic nerve, be processed in the optic portion of the occipital lobe, which is away from our eyes, the very back of our heads. It is translated into this. We get an extremely sharp image. We see this in arthropods, bugs, crustaceans, whatever. See this. Do you see how much more biologically advanced humans are than arthropods? Bugs? Probably great aliens too. Just a little note. If you've ever looked at its eyes and then this, the seen through the glass tube thickness of its eyes and seen the nerve behind it. Kind of gross now, isn't it?